Uh, nah, we literally just found out today, Keystone. And it was like... <clears throat> pretty unexpected, to say the least. In terms of the team situation, like... I know... None of us are going anywhere, like, right now, you know? But obviously, like... Since we have no org, like, if someone on the team gets an offer from an org, it's like, you know, none of us are gonna... Try and hold each other back from, like, taking that. Uh, yeah, I mean, essentially, Optic just didn't, they just didn't want to stay in Apex. They didn't want to stay in Apex anymore. Um, I mean, we didn't really know anything about it until today, and they basically told us, like, you know, at 5 p.m. we're going to be announcing it, and we were like, damn, okay. And, yeah, that was that. I mean, it pretty much everything happened today. We didn't know anything about it before today. It's not like we've known for a little while. Like, nah, we just knew it today. And they just told us they didn't want to be in Apex anymore, and that was it. I mean, it's unfortunate, man. And I mean, I like specifically asked that, like, you know, because yeah, that's what I thought too. Is like the partnered, you know, team stuff. I was like, you know, that partnered EA partnered team thing wasn't enough to keep you in, keep Optic in the game, and they told me no, it wasn't enough to keep him in the game. You know, so it is what it is, man. Not much I can do about it. So, mods, can you, uh, that chunks, uh, chunks, can you clip that and just do like a exclamation mark, uh, fucking exclamation mark org or something? Um, but yeah, chat, I'm not gonna like allow, you know, no shit talking of optic and this stuff is like that. Oh, drop's favorite spot is over here. None of that. At the end of the day, chat, like, it's like I said. Obviously, there's some things that I feel, um, you know, when it came to my time on Optic, like, I would say that Optic as an org itself, you know, like, in terms of their office that they have, the facilities they have for the players and stuff, best org I've ever been a part of, like, easily. The best org I've ever been a part of. But unfortunately, I think that... Um, there was definitely like a disconnect between the org and how Apex operates as like a game because like obviously now that I'm not on Optic anymore, you know, I can kind of talk about the coaching situation that happened and like don't think that I'm going to say that I'm sitting here and blaming that why we played bad on like not having a coach, you know, like I'm not trying to do that at all. I'm just speaking about the situation because I feel that there was a disconnect and with with the org because we don't we didn't have a manager chat like we anything else before I joined the team I don't know before I joined the team optic had an actual team manager that managed their team that was like very you know actually involved with apex and knew a lot about it when I joined the team they um that guy uh got laid off his name was Ian he was the team manager so we had we didn't really have like an official like team manager. We kind of just like we had uh, this this girl named Paige who was like awesome, but she there was definitely a disconnect. Basically, long story short, there was a disconnect between the management of Optic and Apex. And after Champs, when we told Optic that we wanted to get a coach who was shiny, um, it definitely seemed like you know. They didn't understand the importance of us getting a coach, basically. And, you know, like, obviously that, I think a coach throughout this split would have really, really helped us a lot. Especially with a fucking massive meta shift happening in the middle of the split. You know, imagine a coach, how fucking goaded a coach would have been for that. But, you know. Such is life, bro. Shit happens. Can't go back in time. And yeah, that was the situation with coaching. I just don't think Optic saw the importance in a coach in Apex when partially due to the fact that there's just a disconnect. I really tried making it clear to them as well, like how important having a coach would be for us, you know, but I just don't think it got a, the, the message didn't get across. Well, nah, the reason, the reason why I kind of figured that there was the disconnect is because like it's it's kind of a thing in 
COD and Halo chat, not like I don't know, chat will probably know better than me. But from what I've heard, coaches are kind of like a meme in in COD and Halo. Like they're definitely not like coaches are not widely like used like they are in Apex. If correct me if I'm wrong, but they're like I, I know like coaches in COD. There's been a lot of players that like basically say like we don't fucking need a coach and shit like that. And then like I heard in Halo they like they can like talk during the game so that's definitely useful but definitely i've heard like in cod and shit that coaches are pretty fucking useless and that's kind of where i figured the disconnect happened is like you know maybe they just didn't realize how important coaches are in apex but yeah i mean it is what it is bro but uh yeah that's kind of like i'd say the highlights of being on optic other than that i feel like optic was super fucking helpful to us like when we wanted to boot camp um, before the first London land that we played together as a team. Yeah. You know, they paid for a full boot camp for us, a full week. We used optic facilities. They were fucking awesome. Like, I would say that overall, the time on optic was pretty fucking solid. I would, you know, just that coaching thing was definitely a big, uh, a big, uh, I guess, miscommunication and just, you know, 